Months after a 15-year-old was shot and killed by a Gulf War police officer, the community is now pushing for answers from the police department. Good evening, I'm Cherise Gibson. And I'm Devin Bartolotta. Jaheim McMillan was shot and killed outside of a family dollar store October 6th. Tonight, the community came together to ask for transparency in the investigation. It also comes after the death of something we've been talking about here of Tyree Nichols, beaten by five Memphis police officers earlier this month. Eleanor Tabone was at the, this evening's town hall in Gulfport. We should have known in less than 20 days who the officer was that killed, that killed Jaheem McMillan. We should not be sitting at this time today in Gulfport, Mississippi, wondering who killed Jaheem. Jaheem McMillan was shot and killed outside this family dollar in October last year. His family and the Gulfport community are still waiting for answers nearly four months later. The overall agenda here is what has been from the beginning, transparency um, and to incur more community involvement. The 15 year old was shot in the head during a shooting involving Gulfport police. At the time, Police Chief Adam Cooper said the department received reports of people pointing guns at passing cars. Any loss of death from a youth is tragic and it's a wake up call for all of us. Uh, we've got to get engaged. We have to have serious discussions. We have to be respectful of one another and we've got to support our parents. Gary Fredericks, president of the Gulfport NAACP branch, says the people of Gulfport need to fight together. So we have to be engaged together in a partnership. We can't point fingers and, and hold other people accountable but if we don't hold ourselves accountable. So it takes all arms in this effort. Even the lie that they tell the public. Mark Well Bridges, a local activist, is asking why it took the Memphis Police Department no more than 20 days to take action when it came to Tyree Nichols. But it's taking the Mississippi Bureau of Investigation, who's handling this case, months. Memphis just gave us the blueprint, which is 20 days. So outside of 20 days of, of, of transparency, anything outside of 20 days, we're going to do whatever we have to do to get justice. How can we get those answers from that police department that refuses to give you what you deserve? You pay their payroll. Tomorrow, Jaheem would have celebrated his 16th birthday. This makeshift memorial outside the family dollar, a reminder to city leaders and his community that his family are still waiting for answers. Eleanor Tabone, Eyewitness News. Well, we reached out to the Mississippi Bureau of Investigation to ask why the video of that incident hasn't been released. Uh, they did not respond. 